has me trapped in this sultry tower. Shut your mouth! A lady you may be, but here... I'm trapped! No more! I yield! Find another champion, lady! Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your capture fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no! It was only a game! A romp! My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction! <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger? And you risked your own... Oh, you... Oh, you are so brave! A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please! You must fight for me! Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, <laughs> assuredly. Just uh, stand at the door below. That will place you directly between me and any bad, bad men. Trouble coming. Oh, good. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Oh, woe is me. A king's daughter who had run away from her royal house with all of its red jewels in tow. Huh? Well, now. I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. time I take my leave. Are you still there? My savior? Oh dear. I knew I would regret this. <coughs> <laughs> that nearly turned my insides out. Oh, I wish I could see the stir I've caused above. Ugh, my reward, before I choked to death. <coughs> As we agreed. Well, have you nothing to say after such a forceful breaking of wind? <coughs> it blew me away. <coughs> <laughs> Are you seeing this? Yeah, it's weird. An anomaly of some kind. The rest of your simulation is frozen. I can see a loose data packet close by. I'll see if I could reach it. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is.
Wake, my love, wake. Soldiers at our door. They've come for you. For us. Let them take me. I have no more fear. Let me air my wrath in the courts. They'll kill you before they let you speak. I'll appeal to the council. They must know what the mad one has done. They're upon us. Now is not the time. I'm closing in on the data packet. I see it. It's encrypted, but nothing I can't handle. I got it. Be ready. Stranger. Excuse me, I have a slight pain. Do you notice anything on my head? It's a, an itch or a cut that simply won't go away. It appears to be a, a battle scar. Ah, as I suspected. It must be from my most recent battle. <laughs> you should see the other man. He got the worst of it. Worse than... I suppose it's possible, yes. If he is headless. My arms are numb from battle. Does it need any dressing? Do you think it is a serious wound? Good Dringer. You have an axe in your head. It is grim. I will take it out, but you will surely head off to the next realm soon. Ah. Valhalla it is. I appreciate your candid response. Now I prepare myself for the sights and sounds of the Corpse Hall. I will relieve you of the pain it gives you, send you down the Bifrost. It is time. You know, there's a great mead hall. All your enemies have been slain. Now you rejoice. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Halt, stranger! Show me those arrows. These... Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder... I have studied those arrows, but... Never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. The kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. Why 
got a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Here, little one. No, stop! Oh, pig poop. She ran off again. Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty. Like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah. Ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. You little mouse biter. Wow! Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summoner, I'll have you know. An owl rides in his stead. I, the great summoner Asta, call to you, my noble steed skin fat. I know you are dead, but hear me in your souls! This is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Asta the Great Summoner, first of a name, thank ye. Next time, summon a bridge. If Father was still alive, he would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skin Folly? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> Maybe the horse will have a better life now. You, you little rat, come back with my horse! What has happened? Dandelion Puff upset some kindling. <laughs> Bad girl. Everything burst into flames. I barely escaped. <laughs> Dandelion Puff? My ickle talky walkie. <laughs> She's still in the house. I rushed out, but she didn't follow me. <laughs>
dandelion puff. <laughs> You're no dog. This way, girl. Let's get out of here. Your mistress is this way, dandelion. She's lucky to be alive. Friend, I soon will sleep in the comforting arms of the Lord. <laughs> Can you please look after my ickle doggy dog? Dandy is no dog. She's a fox. A fox? <laughs> How silly I've been. So that's why you love the forest so, eh, Dandy Buff? <laughs> but yes, I will find a place for her. Bless you. I die in peace. Goodbye, my dandy. Dandy, too. <sighs> Alvar is an old fool trying to live his dream. But when do we bring in the harvest? Listen up, crew! Sharpen your blades and your wits! You are a long way from home, Nosman. Uh, I may be, <laughs> but my sixty winters have not slaked my taste for raiding. And I have the finest crew on the sea. You have no crew. Do you not see them? Stout fellows all. And you, make yourself useful and help prepare the ship, friend. we must do. Start where you will. Yes! Bring all! We'll need to repair weapons and shields. But you have no blacksmith. Ah, nonsense. Black Bjorn is about somewhere. He's our man. around you there's no end of preparations we must do start where you will arrows bring as many as you can <laughs> imagine the terror in our enemy's eyes when a hail of arrows falls from the blue We'll have no time to catch more, what with all the pillaging. The crew will be wanting a nice meal. A crew of two, it seems. We're ready to launch out on the roiling sea. Summon Scott, Knut, and the rest of the crew. Blow your horn! Oh, by the gods, will you blow that damn horn? Will you blow that damn horn?
walls. Enemy! Battle is upon us, men. Let none survive. <laughs> You're lucky to still be alive. The crew fought like heroes. No Saxon survived, just like the old days. Friend, there was no crew. Only you and me. Your Saxons were but mangy wolves. No. Bjorn Scarred, they were all here, fighting at my side. <laughs> just as they did in the raids of yore. Gone now. Today you let their shades on a ghost ship. Your raiding days are done. Your crew feasts in Valhalla. Well, can it, can it, can it be? Hmm. And if so, it was worth it. One last raid. Thank you, my friend. That's foul. Thank the gods you've unblocked me. You've given me my f freedom. Uh, uh, but at great cost. Uh, still, you have my thanks. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. 
Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles, and you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I'll join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around, just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Our settlement is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, you really and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. Poetry. Maybe Compare. why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans them. upset the balance of nature, well, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's stall, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers, from further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings as Sigurd and I are siblings, bound by honor. Not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. See those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So, your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I am impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So, you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there! Get to cover!
There. That should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowny Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't. But I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks. I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. is done, Tarpen, and our feasting table will be warmer for it. Eivor, that is... kind of you. I hope one day I can repay you. You are among friends here. There is no need. No need, but a desire. An earnest one. I remember the good things people do for me. To warm my heart in times when... when kindnesses are few and far between. There was one more thing, though, if you had a moment. A grain merchant has set up downriver. I want to bring a half dozen bags home, but I would need an extra pair of hands. I can lend a hand. That's a relief. I did not fancy asking Holger. Tarben, what brought you to our clan? Your reputation. Heard folk say a band of hard-drinking, battle-scarred warriors had washed up on shore. Said you had settled in the center of Mercia, taking in whatever floatsome, jetsome, and jumble of misfits came to your docks. And this appealed to you? More than anything. Always been a bit of a drifter. The thought of settling in a rowdy camp felt like a good balance. And being a baker, I knew my services would not be sniffed at. I did not take you for a baker when we met. You have the look of someone who swings an axe. <laughs> I do hear that a lot. But baking is your only craft, is that right? I have always enjoyed it. And I have always been good at it. But when I'm not able to find such work, I take odd jobs where I can. So long as I can work with my hands. Well, we have that in common. A question, Eivor. You're a warrior. A fighter. That much I know. But if you could stop fighting, what would you do? You ask the wrong question. I can stop fighting. But to do so would be to deny the essence of who I am. I think you mean, if I had to stop fighting, what would I become? No, you've given me the answer I wanted. It's good you found what calls you. A rare and happy thing. Yes, I see you both. What can I...? It's you. W what are you doing in Mercia? Collecting grain. Thirty silver's worth, if you can spare it. I do have the coin. Right. Well... Take what you need and get going. That should cover it. Thank you kindly. Of course. And you, uh... You take good care of yourself. Yeah? Each 
surely driven your hair and then win us away. Or it's checked out wound us. Is that your usual vendor? He seemed a little surprised to see you. Did he? Well, could be he knows somebody who looks like me. There's no shortage of big bearded men around here, yeah? I suppose not. About your question earlier, what would I do if I weren't a warrior? I would ask the same of you. Is baking bread your greatest wish? Is there something wrong with wanting to bake bread? The Romans baked bread. The Egyptians baked bread. It is a fine trait. But is it your calling? It is my calling to feed people, I'd say. To be of service to those I care for. And who care for me. That brings me joy. Put that way, it is a noble pursuit. I don't know that it's noble. It is simply what gets me up in the morning. It gives me purpose for the rest of my day. Need help with your grain? No need, no need. I'll do the rest myself. Bring it in and put it where I like. All right. It was good to speak with you, Turban. A welcome diversion. You too, Eivor. Thank you for your help. Stop clucking like a laying hen. I'm the one with the broken leg. At least grab old Hisser's tail while you're up there. Something is here. Someone is stuck. My brother. Chasing some foolish legend that if you see old Hisser from above and catch his tail, he will grant you a wish. And what of your leg? Likely sprained, trying to climb up to rescue him. <laughs> we are a sorry pair. down somehow. Can you see a haystack or something? A haystack? Are you mad? From this height? That's certain death. No, my fate is still. I will just wait up here and die. you down, but I was a big strong Norse like yourself afraid of heights. And snakes! I don't know how I let my brother talk me into these schemes. I think I just give in to his endless scolding, but I'm sick to the back teeth of him. Climb up on it, go in that cave of wolves on it, eat that red mushroom. Siblings are a source of great joy and equal misery. I too have a brother. Does yours put you in the maw of death every opportunity he gets? Come, let's get you down. And perhaps you can tell him how you feel. Talk of my feelings to my brother. I would rather let the snakes gnaw on my tender parts. This way? It's too hard to get down from here. Something prevents the ladder from descending. Oh... I get dizzy up so high.
here. You can come down now. Oh, Freya, grant me a strong grip. There, the ladder. Watch your step. Which way now? This way? There! Another slithering devil waiting to get me. Yes! I'm alive! Brother! Yes! I'm alive! Brother! Thank you, stranger. For bringing this waste of breath back to me. You're welcome. But what is the story you spoke of? Old Hisser? A pretty legend. He who catches Old Hisser's tail will find her heart's wish granted. We have followed England's legends and found little but peril. It's time to hang up our well-worn boots. Farewell. May Odin litter your path with riches. Goodbye. Keep each other safe. For a good brother is the truest treasure from the gods. Now see, you big lump. All that wailing, it was as easy as a hop and a jump. <laughs> Keep that up, and I'll leave you here for the wolves. <laughs> oh, no. Look at your leg. Is it truly broken? No, sprained is all. But I'd like to see you get by without me. Couldn't even climb down a ladder without mewing like a newborn. Here in the ancient kingdom of Kent, the Jutes have brought me to where his fire burns through traces of the Nephilim. Here the Lord speaks to me again. He warns of betrayals, of struggles, of the trials of the first ones. I do not always understand his message. If he is warning me, it is because he believes I am worthy. He says there is one angel still trapped. She who must be released, or joined. Must I find her? Petra, what is wrong? It's my brother. Wallace was meant to return hours ago, but I've seen neither hide nor hair of him. He's usually punctual. I'd like to search the woods for him, but alone I fear I would have little luck. Would you join me? Two could cover much more ground. We should go now. Do you know where to start? Near Peterborough. It's where he buys his tanning liquids. I know he sometimes makes camp at a crossroads between here and there. We can retrace his steps. With luck, he hasn't done anything foolish. Is he prone to that sort of thing? Never. That's why his absence worries me. I told you how we found him, didn't I? You did. Led by a white elk to a lost babe in the woods. A fated encounter. Fated, yes. As if gifted from one guardian to another, he was bestowed on us like a... like a babe among the reeds. Set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at its eyes. There's something wrong with this one. Strong scent down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. There's a familiar soundness. I can't place it. Another smell of death. It is almost blessed. Hmm. 
Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Why would he leave his campsite? Where could he have been going? Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The White Elk. The White Elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. It was there. I saw it there. Are you certain? to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the white elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. Deliver comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. We're looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! Is Petra near? I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. Well, what is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take evil back to Sutunger's Hall! What have you done with Petra? Throw you! What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil! Stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra! I must know the truth! I must know where you are! Evil! I am right here! You need to question this carrion further. Oh, yes. Sorry. Now come. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there. His trail leads this way. Petra. I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes before I found you. You were visited. For a time. We talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Oh, look there! This is strange, say, dear Petra. Where are you? <laughs> Over here! Eivor, come on! I'm up here! Petra? How are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? I'll show you. How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, no. 
no, no. Too far. Too far. Amazing. You did it, just like your Sunin. And not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no. The wolf spirits have wakened. with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! Freshly rested and ready to work. Your day's late! I was carrying quite a burden coming home. It slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms, sent me into a tizzy, tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They're often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could, but I'll have to ask the rabbits for permission. <laughs> 